The old Crick glasses versus Lost Sears lens debate. If you're trying to get better at this game, it basically all boils down to knowing what the items do and how it will affect the particular character you're playing. So which variant will be better? As for the Crit glasses, officially known as the Lens Makers glasses, this white item grants you a 10% critical hit chance per stack with a critical hit doing double damage, indicated by these red damage numbers here. Wow, that's a lot of damage. On the other hand, the Lost Sears lenses, the void variant of the Crit glasses, has a 0.5%, so half a percent chance to instantly kill any non-boss enemy with plus 0.5% per stack. So this means basically any enemy that doesn't have a red health bar that appears in the middle of the screen has a chance to be instantly deleted from existence by this item. Accompanied by one of the most satisfying sound effects in the entire game. The major caveat here is the fact that the Lost Sears lens, along with every other void item, will corrupt the normal variant, meaning you can't have both at the same time. They'll all get turned into the void variant. So even though these things look crazy seek and have the best sound design in the game, unfortunately for some survivors, they just don't work out too well. As a general rule of thumb, I would recommend picking up the Lost Sears lenses only if you are looping and are planning on doing a long run and keeping the regular Crit glasses if you are planning to just go straight to Mythrix after stage 5. I say this because the value of being able to just hit the delete key on enemies in a looped run where there are just tons of world spawn bosses and elite type enemies that have huge health pools is very valuable. And on the other hand, if you're planning on fighting Mythrix, the Lost Sears lens does not work on him. So having those crit glasses is better for the boss fight. However, there are a couple exceptions to the rule, one of which is if you are playing Bandit who has a built-in passive that if you're behind the enemy that you automatically get crits. So picking up the Lost Seer's lens early on for him is perfectly fine since you can always get crits anyway. The other main exceptions are of course if you do not have any crit glasses to begin with and then picking up an item is better than having no item. And lastly, if you're playing multiplayer, especially four player multiplayer on monsoon difficulty, the value of the Lost Sears lens again rises because it's similar to looping. You'll be encountering a lot more world spawn bosses and elite enemies where being able to just straight up snap them out of existence is extremely useful. Also, something to keep in mind is that both of these items really benefit from survivors that have high fire rate attacks. So survivors like Commando, Huntress, the Void Fiend, and Auto Nail Gun Multi. Survivors like Acrid, Artificer, or Loader definitely do not benefit the same from these items. And last but definitely not least, if you have Shatter Spleen, Harvester Scythe, and Predatory Instincts most definitely do not take the Lost Seer's lenses because this will totally screw up your build because these three items in combination with the crit glasses is just busted. So don't do that. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Just a couple of tips. Thanks for tuning on in and we'll catch you next time. Adios, amigos.